back folks, Mike here down in the RC corner, you can see got an unboxing, I'm really excited about this. And thanks again subscribers for tuning in and if you're new watching this channel, I hope you like what you see and you'll hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and I'll keep bringing you more stuff like this. I got this uh, 116 scale dune buggy. Um, I got this from my friends over at Banggood. This is from Remo Hobby, uh, something new I've seen show up on some of the websites. They got 116 scale and 18 scale uh, RCs and um, really piqued my interest. As you can see, it's ages 8 plus 16 scale. This is called the Rocket, four wheel drive buggy, uh, 2.4 gigahertz. They're saying that it goes 50 kilometers an hour. Of course, it's electric and you see down here, waterproof. And we got to look at uh, the overlook with the uh, body off. So pretty cool stuff. As you can see, it's got some clear plastic panels. Uh, when uh, Banggood shipped this to me, they put cardboard over top and they taped it down and uh, wrapped it up in foam. And then so um, it was well protected. And of course, you're going to see little uh, crinkles and dings and stuff like that. Anyways, um, let's just uh, keep looking around here. Standard components, so they're telling us there's metal diffs, metal spur gear, metal um, outdrives, ball bearings, hex screws, steel drive shafts. So we're looking at some uh, quality stuff here. Uh, again, that uh, comes with a pretty big radio. So anyways guys, I'm going to take it out of the box. And uh, let's break, and we'll break it down and see what all comes inside. All right, so sit tight, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we got this thing out of the box, and it's uh, got various elements here we want to go over quick. So let's get some of the smaller stuff out of the way. Came with this baggie here, and it's got a cross wrench, and uh, it's usually for taking the wheel nuts off and taking the wheels off. Got extra body pins. It appears to be a metal spur gear in here and a couple Allen wrenches. Now I'm wondering if that's a bigger or smaller spur gear in order to increase the speed or decrease the speed. So we'll have to have a look at it. Maybe it's just a plain out spare. Um, I'll put that away here. Um, comes with a charger here. So it's one of those uh, balance chargers, uh, two and three cell balance charger. The IMAX B3RC. So this is a pretty common uh, thing you see. It's got a nice uh, plug here, European style. I have many converters. I uh, gotten over the course of time of ordering things, so looks real good. And uh, let's uh, have a look. See here, 800 milliamp hours. So. Uh, Per hour, that'll put 800 milliamp hours into your battery. So we'll have to see how much um, the battery size is. But I'm guessing then probably the battery will charge within an hour, hour and a half on this charger. And we'll move it out of the way. Now this is uh, something you can tell from a, a, a better quality RC. And uh, when you buy some higher end RTR RC cars, it comes with multiple manuals. And uh, this one... Here is uh, the parts breakdown, how it all gets put together, all the part numbers. Really good detail, looks really good. It's uh, on both sides. Show you how things, uh, tools you're going to need in order to put it together. The different size uh, wrenches and everything. And hex size, you're going to need uh, whether scissors, pliers, glue, whatever. So that is really uh, beneficial. Especially when you uh, got to take the car apart and clean it or you uh, have to put in a spare part. Uh, of course it comes with a manual for the radio and that's uh, really cool. I'll put that over here because we'll talk about the radio next. And then um, kind of have a generic uh, manual that covers the lineup of stuff. And uh, it appears this is... Uh, Chinese and English put together and uh, not much in here It's just all word instructions and just tell you safe practices on how to operate the car and that's for the buggy the monster truck and short course truck and those are the three models that come with this uh, 1 16 scale size and as you can clearly see I got the buggy so we're going to just talk about the radio here and I am 
very impressed with this radio. Um, I'll put this aside. This radio is very sturdy, very heavy duty. Um, so it feels a little bit heavier than normal than any stock radio that comes along. We'll look on the bottom side here quick first. We got four AA battery um, storage there on the bottom to power this unit. Um, one thing is uh, noticeable is that it's got a foam wheel. But if you look at it from this side, you'll notice that, hey, there's a foam wheel on that side too. Now there's this lever here on the top, and you push it forward, and you can snap the wheel over and use this if you're right or left-handed. How nifty is that? Um, for me, I am right-handed, so that's the way it came set. So I'll leave it on this side. Really, really cool. Um, this is probably your 70... 30 or 50 50 rate for the trigger on off switch and this uh, hood flips up and we have four dial features here and a slider button for reversing um, the servo over here we have the two throttle trims we have a throttle trim sorry and a throttle dual rate and that is really key i really like radios that come with throttle dual rate especially if you want to put this in the hands of a younger kid or an inexperienced person you can dual uh take the dual rate and turn it down and it will slow down the vehicle when they pull the throttle trigger so if you got a young youngster on here and you want to this thing goes 50 kilometers and you want to dial it down to about 25 or 30 you can play with the dual rate and the steering trim is the same this will center it out and the dual rate will uh based on the cornering if you think it's sh it corners too sharply you can dial that out and it'll do wider turns that's a real handy feature when it comes to racing especially if you're in a track and you want to do full turns instead of just little twitches on the wheel to get it around but well i'm uh, really impressed with the radio and uh, no antenna it's probably built into this handle part here it sits nicely that way or you can set it up that way so really impressed with that and looking forward to using it and i really like the feel of that wheels it's uh, not too springy either and the trigger feels good too so big thumbs up on the radio part of this rc and just have some observations here of what we got going on and i really wonder why they call this the rocket <laughs> when it says dingo on it but uh, that's just a little minor uh, detail there but I do like the body I do like how it looks um, it's got two clips here that are keeping it on the back I find that a little different than what you normally see and this is uh, something I haven't seen much at all actually using a screw to keep the body on on the front and the purpose of that is seeing that the battery is right here on the side and it's velcroed down that it's easy access just lifting it up like this and you can just velcro it lift the velcro out loosen it get your battery in get your battery out and you don't need to take the body off so that's um, a little different than what you normally see but I can see where they're coming from on that the wing uh, the wing I'm not too uh, hot on it's really loose it's a bit um yeah it's not square and i'm not sure if this will hold up very well um it looks okay i guess uh, it's got a carbon fiber print on it and stuff but uh, i do have other wings from other 16 scale rcs kicking around lexan or hard plastic and i may uh try some things out and see what will fit on there see if I can get something to look better and maybe a little more durable because usually when these things flip over it's the back wing that takes all the, uh, the damage when it's upside down okay what I'm going to do here or maybe I'll just uh, feel the, sh the shocks here now I am not sure if these are oil filled if they are I would say there's no oil in them because that is very springy. 
very springy so we're gonna have to look into that aspect of it tires feel hard um, but they do soften down the center of them and I would say there is foam inside so I'm kind of liking the tire especially for uh, a loose gravel loose dirt and pavement it should go fine on the grass they might be hard enough that you might be able to power slide around so anyways I am going to I got my uh, my little drill here and that's a two mil bit in I got there so we can easily take it, that front screw off and we can get this body off this thing and you can see it's nicely packaged in combined um, receiver and ESC package there going to a brushed motor looks like a 380 390 size can got a red uh, aluminum heat sink on it that is a five wire servo going to the ESC here's the antenna sticking up the on off switch is over here uh, and then everything's neatly tie wrapped away coming off the ESC we have a Dean's connector some people call it a T connector and in here sitting in the saddle we have a battery to sell. It's a light ion battery. 1500 milliamp hour. Panther power. That's what it says. So light ion battery. So you have to be a little bit uh, read up on that too. Light ions are a little bit different than lipos. Um, but they run virtually the same. They have a low voltage cutoff. I think they can run a little longer and a little lower on the voltage and stuff, but they charge roughly all the same. So, two cell light ion batteries. So, we'll see. Um, I'm hoping to get about 12, maybe 15 minutes of runtime out of this. We'll see how it goes. The car itself is a uh, fairly significant weight. So, guys, that's the breakdown here. I'll just flip it over not really many screws on the bottom as you can see everything is pretty much one piece that way we got some screws on the ends here no real bumpers on this model there's a, a back bumper here and uh, everything like I said on the top is a uh, hex screw no adjustable linkages or anything like that so